Hello world, this is a Kerbal Rocket School update. With the release of Kerbal Space Program Point 18, a few things have changed since this episode was released. Here are your new options for decouplers. Now when you add a decoupler under an engine, you get this cool fairing. Ooh. The staging setup in the bottom right hand corner now only shows parts that have functions when staging. A completely new feature to Point 18 is the Action Group system. Up here, you can switch back and forth between adding parts and editing the action groups. An action group is a group of part functions you can bind to a single key. Among them are a few you may be familiar with. Spacebar will control staging, G will control landing gear, U is lights, R is RCS, T is SAS, B is brakes. A new feature is abort, which is controlled with the backspace key. Then there's a set of custom groups, numbered 1 through 10, controlled with the number keys 1 through 0. You can add a part function to any one of these groups by clicking on the part, and then choosing the function. You can bind stuff like engine ignitions, parachute deployments, solar panel deployments, and more to any key. I would suggest keeping a standard for your action groups, for example always having your solar panels binded to the one key. This is because when you dock with another ship, the action groups of both ships will be merged together, which can lead to some confusion if you're not careful. That's all for this update, and I will see you out there.